Manchester United Chief Edward Wood was part of the hierarchy that sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on Sunday. Manchester United Chief Edward Wood could delay his departure from Old Trafford in the wake of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's sacking, reports claim. The 49-year-old was forced into relieving the Norwegian of his duties on Sunday after the Red Devils were battered by Watford. Manchester United sacked Solskjaer on Sunday after his side lost 4-1 to Watford. The Red Devils were outplayed at Vicarage Road slumping to a seventh defeat from their last 13 outings in the process. Now, United are poised to begin yet another managerial hunt. Solskjaer has become the fourth boss to lose his job at Old Trafford since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement, joining the likes of David Moyes. Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho out the door. And, now, Sky Sports are saying Woodward could delay his exit in order to help out the Norwegian's successor. Woodward announced he'd be leaving the club back in April after the European Super League debacle, having received a huge backlash from fans. But he's still said to be instrumental to the decision making at the club. Still, Dot and Woodward may now have a key role for many months to come. The United Supremo first joined the club in 2005 when he helped the Glazers rise to power. Dot and he's been operating as executive vice chairman ever since David Gill left in the summer of 2013. Regarding Solskjaer's successor. Mauricio Pochettino appears to be the club's no one target. Pochettino is currently working in France with Paris Saint Germain, having replaced Thomas Tuchel at the start of the year. But reports have suggested he'd love to take over at United. And, what's more, Pochettino is supposedly unhappy at the amount of egos within the PSG dressing room. The Argentine feels the League One giants take a lax view when it comes to their players partying, with Neymar and Kylian Mbappe often going out on the town. And if United make an approach, there's every chance Pochettino will head to Old Trafford. There are, however, alternatives. Brendan Rogers is one. Even if the Northern Irishman has made it clear he's happy in his current role at Leicester.